From a dog jumping into traffic to a monkey performing CPR, here are 11 amazing stories of animals saving other animals. Number 11. Dogged by Traffic We've seen it in a thousand movies and TV shows. The heroes end up on a busy street and have to bob and weave through traffic in order to both stay alive. But you'd be surprised at how many animals find themselves in traffic with no way out. In Santiago, Chile, a dog got clipped by a car and couldn't drag itself out of the way. Enter another dog who saw this, dove into traffic, and then carefully and methodically got the other dog out of there little by little, until some construction workers helped them get fully out of harm's way once they saw what was happening. This is extraordinary for many reasons. One, that the second dog didn't even blink in regards to helping the first one. Two, that the second dog used not its teeth, but its body to help get the first dog out of the road. And three, he did all of this while being careful of the traffic to make sure he didn't get hit, or put the dog into the path of another car. Most reports say that the first dog lived, and hopefully the second dog was rewarded for a job well done. Number 10. Save the horse. There are many times when animals will band together for a common goal, getting food, building shelter, etc. But sometimes, it's surprising just how conscious they are of what they need to do in a dire situation. In England, a group of five horses were minding their own business when suddenly one of them was shot by a crossbow. To be clear, no one was hunting the horses, which is illegal. Someone was being extremely cruel, and this horse getting shot was the result. Anyway, shot, in pain, and in no doubt screaming for help, the other four horses rallied around it and would nuzzle it to show that they were there. They also took turns licking the wound. You may think this is a bad idea, but in this case, the opposite was true. This action helped both stem the blood flow and helped ensure that the wound wouldn't get infected. The owner eventually found the horse in this horrible condition and saw the other horses helping it and commended the other four for having saved it. The owner got the horse the help it needed and it made a full recovery. Number 9. Cats and Dogs Cats and dogs are usually rivals. They're rivals for the affection of humans, of course, and they don't seem to like each other very much, which is often played up by the media and cartoons. But in nature, anything can happen, including one saving the other. I have two stories to share with you, and you might even have more. First, at Germany's Strohen Zoo, a tiger cub was born. I know, I know, it's not a cat per se. Yet, it was immediately rejected by its mother, which usually means the cub won't survive. Instead, a dachshund, who was actually the pet of the owner of the zoo, found the cub and raised it as her own. This dog, named Monster, sadly died, but the cub was still taken care of via Monster's daughter, Bessie. Must have been genetic to want to protect the cub. Tigers and dachshunds? Who would have thought? Another great story comes from Russia, where another zoo had another cat issue. In this case, a trio of bobcat cubs. The zoo owners were afraid to bring these newborns to their parents in captivity, fearing for their lives. So they did the next best thing. They gave the cubs to a German shepherd named Choli. This mother of five became a mother of eight overnight, and she apparently loved every minute of it. And the bobcats loved her in return. She didn't seem to notice the extra kids. And now for number eight. But first, if you are new here, welcome. And be sure to subscribe for more stories like these. Number eight, no monkey business here. It's a fact that one of the biggest dangers to animals all over the world is humanity. Not just that humans hunt animals, both legally and not, but our actions and constructions directly affect them, which is proven easily by this story of a monkey in India. The monkey in question was hovering around a railroad and accidentally got itself electrocuted, knocking it out cold. Another monkey saw this and spent 20 minutes trying to save it by bringing him back to consciousness. It's remarkable to watch as the monkey uses many different techniques to try to awaken the other monkey and absolutely refuses to give up. Eventually, the monkey was somehow revived and the other monkey stayed by it for a while to make sure it was okay. As for the people nearby, they gave the rescue monkey a standing ovation, which he clearly deserved. Number seven, don't touch my baby. In the wilds of Africa, there are a lot of predators you'd be wise to avoid. One of the biggest ones, though, are lions, who aren't afraid to chase down and kill bigger animals in order to get their food. And in this case, a pride of lions decided to go after a baby water buffalo, perfectly within their capabilities. Yet once they do, that's when things get crazy. 
First, the pride actually has some trouble securing the baby water buffalo as they knocked it into the water during their hunt. As they try and get it out, they are besieged by crocodiles. The lions went out in the end though and get onto land, but they're hardly safe. The baby's herd finds out what's going on, and in mass they go and charge at the pride of lions, sometimes even throwing them high into the air until the baby, still alive somehow, is able to get to its feet and make its way back to its family. If that's still not enough for you, after the baby was safe, one of the water buffalo, more than likely the mother or father, chased down one of the lions to make sure it didn't come back. Number 6. Stuck in the Mud Elephants are among some of the most majestic creatures in the world, and yet they are subject to countless dangers and trials that other animals face. Besides poachers and predators, they also have to worry about getting stuck in a vat of mud. When one of their young finds themselves in such a predicament, the herd rallies together to try and get it out. Now, because of their body type, that is not easy. They don't have arms or legs that can reach out and grab onto it, so they use what they do have, their trunks. It took some doing and the entire herd had to get in on the action, but the young elephant was finally pulled back out onto solid ground. Once it did, its family made sure it could get back onto its feet. After all that, all's well that ends well and they moved on like nothing even happened. Number 5. Hopping Along When you think of a kangaroo, you probably picture it bounding along the plains of Australia, or of a joey hanging out in its mother's pouch. But what happens when something happens to that mama kangaroo bounding across the plains and the joey is left all alone? A four-month-old joey found itself very alone after its mother died. Not knowing exactly what to do, the joey did its best to make it on its own. It would venture out, however, it always returned back to its mother's pouch because it didn't know where else to go. One day though, a pointer dog named Rex realized that something was off in his territory. After some searching, he found the joey still in the pouch. He picked up the kangaroo by the scruff and took the young little guy back to his owner. The owner praised the dog for saving the joey and the kangaroo is not only doing well, but it's still friends with Rex to this day. Number 4. Dig Those Holes Here's a great story of a parent doing what it takes to save their family. A forest fire in Chile threatened a family of 10 dogs, a mother and her 9 puppies. To save them, the mother dug a hole under a metal container, which is extremely clever and a great presence of mind under some very stressful conditions. She continued to dig until she could get all nine of her puppies inside. Once they were safe, she was forced to run off. The fire eventually died down, and firefighters went out to assist the damage and found the hole with the puppies. All of them survived. Now, to truly show just how impressive this hole was, it took the firefighters an hour to find all of the puppies. That shows just how long, how far, and how deep that mother dug to ensure her puppies would not be victims of the fire. After they were all retrieved, they were happily reunited with their mother. Number 3. Two for One Special If you're stuck in a river without a boat, usually you're screwed. But in Kenya, a wildebeest and a zebra found themselves saved by an unlikely ally, a hippo. Hippos can be very dangerous and are known for being one of the deadliest animals in the world. But in this instance, the hippo went out of its way to save these two baby animals. The animals were attempting to cross the Mara River, which is known for having a particularly strong current. The wildebeest was the first to get swept away, and the hippo rushed into the water, made sure that it was positioned to catch the wildebeest with its body, and then slowly worked its way to shore, making sure that the young one was above water so that it could breathe. Eventually, they made it to shore, but the work was not done. Not five minutes later, a zebra met the same fate. As such, the hippo went back into the water, caught the zebra, and just like the wildebeest, nudged it back to shore. Once both animals were safe, they made their way back to their families, and I bet the hippo felt pretty good about itself. Number 2. Whale of a Tail One of the oddities that the ocean throws at us sometimes is when whales become stranded on beaches or sandbars. Scientists are still trying to make sense of why this happens because as of right now, it remains a mystery. When it does happen though, it is big news. One time, it had a happier ending than most. In New Zealand, there was a case where two pygmy sperm whales found themselves stuck on a sandbar. Some people rushed out to try and help the whales, but nothing was happening. That is, until a dolphin showed up. Yes, a dolphin, and one that was famous in this part of New Zealand. His name is Moko, and basically the minute he showed up on the scene to help the whales, everything changed. 
Moko actually talked to the whales and guided them in a way that humans could not. You know, like Dory speaking whale. A little while after, the whales were back in the water safe and sound. The people on the beach couldn't believe it, but hey, sometimes you just have to know how to speak someone's language. Number one, I'm drifting, dog. Anyone who has been canoeing or kayaking knows that the worst possible thing that can happen is for you to lose the ability to row. If you have no way of guiding your boat, the river will do it for you, often with severe consequences. So what happens when that situation occurs with dogs? That's exactly what happened when two dogs found themselves in a canoe that was drifting down river. The dogs were terrified and the people on shore weren't sure what to do. Thankfully for all, there was a third dog nearby who burst into the river, swam to the boat, grabbed a rope that was hanging off the side, probably the one that broke in the first place, and then pulled the boat to shore and the dogs to safety. This dog should get like a thousand medals. It had to swim to the boat, then pull the boat back while not getting carried downstream himself. That's no small feat. A human would have trouble with that, and yet this dog did it like it was nothing. You the best, dog. Thanks for watching. What did you think of these heroic animals? Which story was your favorite? Let us know in the comments. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!